Today I'm going to show you a full dungeon run in Warcraft Arc Light Rumble. This is currently in closed beta, but it plays a lot like Clash Royale with World of Warcraft minis. And yes, this is made by Blizzard. So stick around in this video, whether you want to get some tips and tricks for your first dungeon run through, or you just want to see how this game plays, you are in the right place. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in more Warcraft Arclight Rumble videos. Today, I'm going to be showing you a full Black Fathom Deep's dungeon run. And one of the big differences between Clash Royale and Warcraft Arclight Rumble is that there's a lot more PvE, player versus environment content. One of those things is the dungeon runs. And this is something that resets periodically. You can see the timer in the upper right. And for doing your dungeon run, for each boss you beat, you get this crucial currency for upgrading your leaders. I'll show you that in a second. If you've never seen this game before, just trust me, it's really good. Now, a part of what makes a dungeon run different from a normal mission, and by the way, there are a lot of missions to go and do. I've done 35 of at least 60 of them. 60 starts to unlock raids. One of the big things is that you're getting this special currency that up upgrades your leaders. Now, leaders define how your deck performs. Cards are the troops that go into your deck. Both of them you unlock, and I talked about all of this in a separate video. Card will be up on the top. I did that on my main channel. Check it out. But what I want to point out is that my experience has been that higher level cards is the way to muscle your way through the dungeon. And there is some finesse if you have choices. You can switch around what cards you include in your deck. But as I was describing earlier, upgrading your leader is crucial. This is Ren Blackhand. Ren Blackhand, man, he's, he's my badass dude that freaking slays. This is my leader of my army that does the best. Now, you use those currencies that I don't even know what it's called. The currency in the upper right to upgrade different cards that are in your deck as long as that uh, card fulfills the requirement so you can see here that my deck already has two black rock spots a flying spot a, a uh, squad spot and an elemental spot and you can see that the cards that i've chosen do fulfill those requirements because the little indicator up top here is colored in and that requirement is fulfilled if i had a wrong card in one of these spots you can see that it no longer is colored and I'm not getting a level bonus. It's unmatched. So I have mixed feelings about this system as a whole, but it is what it is and here it is. And let's go now and do an upgrade. I've earned it by virtue of doing dungeon runs. I'm gonna upgrade my leader because I mean, I don't know how I feel about those different slots in the deck, but this deck will always have this leader. So yes, upgrade that to the max. Use the currency, baby. Let's go. My leader's now maxed, GG. And now it takes even more currency to get any, any further, but let's go. That's awesome. I'm hyped about that. So let me show you the dungeon run. If you've never seen this game, you're ready for the action. Each card performs differently. And when you do a dungeon run, unlike normal PVE content, you have one life. You lose, you're out, unless you get extra lives. And before each boss, you get loot to enhance your ability to win. This loot is randomized at this time in the beta. It used to not be for each dungeon run. You got the same things each time, but now it's randomized. And the choices I have for this particular run include the Seal of the Alliance. Alliance minis cost less. Well, this is not an Alliance deck. Burrowing Banner. Deploying an Unbound mini grants one level to nearby allied minis. I don't really have Unbound units. I mean, I have one. And your fast minis gain stealth. This is actually going to be a sucky dungeon run for me. I'm going to take this. I have one unbound mini and i'm gonna deploy them as a buffer for my nearby units i have a low level of faith this is gonna work and i'm just gonna try to muscle through with my higher level cards rather than finesse by using an alliance deck because my alliance cards kind of suck this is because you have to collect cards to unlock them to include in your deck and it's the early game so here we go now i know what this level is going to do because i've played it before to get to this point um, but what you would normally want to do to get better results is to actually scout out what the different abilities are from the different uh, things that are on the map. In this case, he's got an Earth Elemental coming for me and this dude in the back that charges, which is like really difficult to deal with. I'm going to commit a couple cards to the board and hope that I can take out that tower. Also, I'm pretty tempted to farm that gold, so I'm just going to go do it. Um, and I'm off to a pretty good start so far. Now, I do need to deal with these guys that have respawned. I'm going to deal with them like this. 
Maybe not the best way to go, but good enough. I did get that tower. Poggers, we're off to a good start here. Okay, now I, I kind of want to mine this. So I'm going to get to mining and you can see that empowered my guy over here. He gained a level. I mean, that's kind of cool. They put a wolf right on top of me though, which actually sucks. And I'm going to have to push this tower the hard way. I did get some good damage on it, and they're even mining that stupid gold node out from underneath me. GG. I'm going to use the combination of Rend, Black Hand, plus Drake again. Also, I'm going to send out my Kobold to go and get some gold up top. And wow, that timing was really tragic. Because there are all their guys to go kill my Kobold. GG. Also, I need to protect this tower. I probably could have picked a better unit. Good enough. Take out that Kobold. Good stuff. Okay. I'm gonna just deploy this guy unfortunately and just try to mine that i'm gonna put in this flyer i don't think i can hit these guys off to the side i think they're just kind of a turret that i have no way to deal with except with my blizzard i'm gonna use rend black hand in this instance to deal with these guys so i have to i don't have to keep using my blizzard like that and i'm in a pretty decent spot i'm gonna take out those tower guards i'm gonna deploy my unbound unit to level up my guy and mine that that's actually pretty legit right and I really need more units actually in on the boss right now to actually get anything done, which I just don't think I'm going to be able to accomplish. So I'll put in some more kobolds, do some more mining. I really need to deal with these guys. I don't have the gold for it. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. My Drake dealt with one. And let's try this. Well, he's going to level up all my guys when I put him in there. He's not even very good. But the fact that he levels up all my units might actually just be good enough. Okay, now I know that deploying Rend there actually sucks and that these guys spawn in on top of me. Very awkward. And I actually just lost the tower. Doesn't matter. Won the match. So, because I have won the first round, I now have an extra life. Hooray for me. And I get one more talent, one more ability that I can choose. It's not a talent. Talents are separate. Boom. 75 currency, super crucial. And what are, what are my options? Kobolds gain 25 levels. You know that kobold with the pickaxe that was mining? Plus 25 levels actually is legit. Your single target melee units gain life steal. Eh, I got a lot of AoE. And then light feather. Your flying minis evade the first attack against them. I have a lot of flyers. That's what I take. I'm all in on the flyer plan. Ren Blackhand, as my leader, makes it so that my flyers that are costed over two will cost one less. So when he's on the board, all my flyers are cheaper. And now they evade. Pog. Okay, let's go. Here we go. I got to be ready to deploy here. Yep. See, because I've done this mission before, and this is my big tip to you, is you can know the exact starting sequence that the enemy is going to do, and this is going to give you a huge advantage. I really want to be aggressive, but I also really want to protect my tower here. I'm going to protect my tower. I feel like this is the right choice, protecting my tower. Okay, off to a good start. Gonna protect my Rend Blackhand with some anti-flyers to go cover him. And I'm gonna deploy my Kobold to get this gold in just a second. There we go. And yep, really glad. Okay, protecting Rend did nothing. GG. That actually accomplished nothing. Now I'm gonna Blizzard these guys because there's also a Banshee in the back that would take control of one of my units. Holy cow, man. Quit deploying units on me. They, they I mean, I will say, it's pretty aggressive. Like, you might think like, oh, it's PVE, how hard can it be? I mean, maybe I just suck, folks, but I'm telling you, it, it's uh, more difficult than you might expect. These missions get tougher and tougher. It's not so straightforward. I'm gonna deploy over here. Wow, he did it at the same time. Uh, I think I got the first hit, but he's higher level, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. I gotta go protect my Rand. And he's gonna get the freaking gold node. Oh, that sucks. And he's going to take control of my unit here. Super awkward. Off to a great start. Okay. How do I want to deal with that? Wow. Uh, and the Drake is going to kill my tower. This is looking like it's going to be pretty difficult. Okay. Here we go. Blizzard. Have to blizzard my way out of that. And then have to bring in another flyer. Oh boy, this could hurt. But if I get Ren down, he does AOE. But I'm short on gold. This is not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to deploy him back here. I was way shorter on gold than I realized. Okay, is what it is. We can recover. 
I still own one extra tower for now anyways. I'm gonna protect it. We get the other tower back and then we're back in business. But I, the real issue is that I'm losing time that I needed to get progress. Uh -oh. And they might still get that tower. Uh, my Drake, let me tell you, the roosting talent is god awful. Look at, he's just standing there. He's just letting me lose that. That's swell. Okay. Well, I may not win. We're gonna have to use that extra life. Oh, and now my Drake will wake up and actually do something. I hope they fix that roosting talent soon because it's like, could be really cool. Should be really cool. Okay. Uh, I really need to play threats on board. So let's get threats on board. And now I just need to push the boss. I can't try to take all the towers. Not that I think necessarily that that would have been the way to go, but... I gotta play threats to board. And I gotta push boss. And we gotta try to end. Which I just don't know that I can do. Oh, he's getting control of my rent. Okay, he got control of a unit. That definitely sucks. I just don't think I have what it takes to get through these guys and even hit the boss, it would seem. I mean, 30 seconds remaining, 20 seconds remaining. I gotta just try to put as much damage as I can on this boss. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have the damage. I don't know if I have the damage. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be so close. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, that was so close. That might've been winnable. That might've been winnable. Okay, so when you lose, that was so close, bro. Okay, sure. I lose. You use your extra life. You gain an extra life after each mission you win. And now I can do it again. I get to do that all over again. And hopefully we make some better decisions this time around. So let's give it a freaking shot and see how it goes. I got to be ready to deploy Rend. Hopefully I did that fast enough. Please burn him down. Burn him down. Burn him down. And burn him down. Burn him down. Don't get the gold. Good, good. Okay, we stopped him from getting gold. Poggers. And he's going to deploy this insane force to the left again. I want to deal with that by putting a threat down of my own. Okay. Here we go. Burn them up. Good. So far, so good. I should accumulate some gold here in case they do something fishy. Like that stupid Banshee. No Banshee yet. I can kill those guys. Um... feel like that's I will obey was just a banshee. Could be wrong. Yep. Uh, she used the banshee and took my rent. Okay. Is what it is. I'll send some flyers on that rent. There's not a lot he can do about that besides deploying two more of his own flyers. Oh my god. Their rate of gold gain is actually insane. Whatever that is, it's out of control. Okay. We're doing fine though. We're doing just fine. I'm going to keep telling myself that, and at some point, I will believe it. Okay. I can deploy a Drake of my own on this side if I wanted. Uh-oh. I don't want her getting control of my guys. Unacceptable. Maybe it would have been better. Maybe it wouldn't have been so bad, especially considering what's about to come over here, but... Felt like a bad idea at the time to let her get control. This is okay. I can take this, right? Yeah, one Drake does the job. One Drake did the job. All right. And now maybe I should just pressure boss. Should I just go all in on boss? I could, I could take this lane. Taking this lane would buy me a lot of relief. So let's try to take lane. Big commit to that lane on my part. Getting another lane would be pretty good. And now I just blizzard this. Oh, come on. Not enough gold. Not enough gold still. Losing my window to hit both of these guys. We did it. <sighs> Barely, but it worked out. That was pretty pretty good, actually. And if I can deploy this guy here, I can give my guys a level up. Level them up, level them up. Level them up. Let's go. Okay. Beating a level I've never beaten before, perhaps. Not on this level of difficulty. Oh, God. They're kind of working to overwhelm me here. Uh, oh... Okay, awkward. Oh, wow. Dude, my tower shredded. Okay, now now we can push these guys, I think. 
Now we push. Oh, I don't have Blizzard. I don't have Blizzard. I don't have Blizzard. No, don't take my... No, 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 no. Oh, they got rend. I could have done that better. That was that was preventable, I think. I, I feel like that was preventable. At least it could have been worse, and it wasn't. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Uh, like putting that unit there really stupidly and letting them hit that. Okay. Okay. That was bad. We're in overtime now. Let's actually play like we're trying to win. Here we go. Have to go boss. Have to push the boss big time. Oh God, don't take my friend. Oh, I, I lit him on fire. Okay. We could get this boss now. We get this boss. We get this boss. This could happen. This could happen. Now I gotta let my gold accumulate. And just drop a blizzard on whatever they do. We got this guy, baby. Let's go. Okay. Two tries, but we got there. Now, the final boss. Again, uh, take a moment to actually breathe in. Like, what is this thing gonna do? What, look at what they're gonna do. I've just been skipping it because I've done this before, but claim reward. I say I've done this before. I mean, literally before I recorded this one, I was playing it through and like, trying to understand what the choices were. Every Blackrock mini costs one less. This is a Blackrock deck. O almost all my troops are Blackrock. So this is like huge. That's the play. First four minis you play cost three less gold, but no less than one. Oh, that's pretty badass too. Your elemental minis shock nearby attackers. No, 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 no. Blackrock minis cost less. Okay, this is a mission I think I can beat with this configuration, maybe. What do we got here? Three bosses, okay. Um, tends to fall asleep, will buff their allies when he wakes up. This one spits poison. This one just does lots of damage. And then after I beat them all, I have to beat them all again behind that waterfall. Spoiler alert. So let's go do this thing. Here we freaking go. Okay. I did that intentionally. I let them hit there. It's fine. I'm purposely taking a little tower damage. It's going to be okay. Let's do this. I don't want my Ren to be slowed. Maybe I needed to just drop that Blizzard like a second sooner and that would have worked. We'll drop a Drake over here. Woo! And by the way, I got the benefit of Ren reducing the cost by one on this Drake and also um, the every other Black Hand costing less. So... That also, oh God. So it costs two less is what I'm trying to say. I really want to kill those quill boars. Don't kill my gatherer. Don't kill my gatherer. Don't kill my gatherer. Let's go. I could level all these guys up, but I feel like that's like not really worth it. Like I'm just going to let them do their thing. I think it's going to be okay. Do I want the tower or do I want the boss? I want the tower. I really want the tower. The tower, okay. Not enough gold, but whatever. Rend, God, Rend is, oh no. That fat finger. That fat finger, though. I swear I let go of the thing, and then... Okay, whatever. That's fat finger city. I don't know. If you could see where my hand was, it was not dragon dragon dropping that, I swear to you. I'm gonna try to take out the quill boar. I'll still get the gold. Augers. Okay, now, I gotta take out this boss on the right. How am I gonna do it? Slow guy? Fast guy. Faster guy? Okay. AoE damage is poggers. Hits the guys that are stealth. That's pretty good. Promise you I don't actually say poggers this much normally. Uh, poison is just shredding me. Okay, GG. Poison greater than Chiskul. We'll have to try that again. Okay, Ren, your turn. You, you can try. It's going to take a couple Rens to take this guy down, I think. And the thing I just need to be mindful of is how much time I have. Time will be my enemy here because I have this otherwise... I feel like I have this under some level of control. Uh, I need to blizzard that. When I said I had it under some level of control, I wasn't looking at that massive swarm on their way in. Blizzard is far and away one of my favorite abilities. So strong. So, so strong. Also, flyers are really badass. Look at that. Boom. Just take them out, man. Easy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put another flyer in here. I'm going to swing my troops around this way. We got to take out that guy. I'm going to bring in another Ren Blackhand. We're going to get this done. Okay. I have 33 seconds to take out this boss, then take out all three bosses behind the veil. And I don't know if I have enough time to get it done. Honestly, like I might just be short here. Genuinely, I might just be too slow. 
Time is my enemy here. That's my biggest enemy, for sure. Can I get it done? One minute left to do this is really rough. I just don't know if I have enough time. Okay, here we go. Three bosses in the back. Gotta make some serious moves here. I can empower the level of all my guys. That seems pretty cool. 30 seconds left. I mean, I'm just deploying minis as fast as I can. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Time is the problem. I need to get to a blizzard. Okay. We got it. Woo! Let's go. Dungeon run complete. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was a complete dungeon run. We actually did it. It was actually difficult. And hey, the game thought it was yellow difficulty, okay? It's like, maybe I can win, maybe I can't. Well, this guy, I won. It's very fun. Don't be discouraged if you do a fair amount of losing the first couple times you give it a try. I did. And then I re-recorded after I figured it out. And now I can start to push higher ranks and get more stuff. At the end of the four days, I think it's a five-day total cooldown, when it started, um, it's going to respawn the dungeon a day later, a different dungeon. Um, Power-ups, I mean, it's giving me the same choices every single, not every single time. What I mean by that is the same choices randomized. So there's like two dozen choices for those abilities when I hit begin dungeon, right? And it's randomizing among those to give me three different ones each time. But um, the key is learning. The sequence in which they start to deploy their cards and make sure you have a good counter at the start, picking abilities that work well with your deck and changing around your deck maybe to better accommodate what you're up against. And I feel like as long as these abilities actually rotate every time you start a dungeon, like you could just end up losing a bunch of times until ultimately you arrive on a really good combo for yourself. Now, what I do wonder is now that I've won all the previous levels, if I lose, will it keep me on this level? And I think maybe it will keep me on this level. The reason it was down leveling me is that when the dungeon refreshes every week, I think they give you leader points. I don't know what those are actually called for all previous levels of dungeons that you could have done. Um, but if you lose, then they obviously take off like the points you would be getting for this highest level of dungeon. I think that's what they do. So. Um, you know, each level gives you a certain amount of leader points, and if you win at the higher level next week, then you get points for all the lower levels as well, I think. But if you don't win, then, uh, well, down levels the dungeon, and then you could do it all over again at the lower level, and once you get to the higher levels, you can get those points all over again. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, throw a like on here, subscribe to the channel. More Warcraft, Arclight, Rumble to come. I enjoy this game. I really am. And my only concern about these leader points that I'll share with you right now up front is like, okay, so what if I want to change my deck around and I don't want to have that elemental spot? Am I just screwed? Am I stuck with that for the rest of time? I don't know what the answer is, but I bet they're going to bake something into the game at some point. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. Take care, everybody.